Rebel version 7 has a new feature, Pass. Very useful if you love vector designs. Now, the application is not really a great vector design application. You've got no ways of manipulating. Hopefully in version 8, they'll add a few more features. But where's this Pass feature? Go to Window and Pass. Window and Pass, and you can see a path there already. Let's just remove it. I don't need that anymore. So if I click it, it displays it, but I can remove it like that. So let's just start right at the beginning. And you can see you've got this path library. Well, how do you get this path library? Well, you don't go over here, window, there's no path library, you've just got pass. This is the only panel. To display it, just go here, pass library. So you can just display it or not. Now, you might not want to use it at all. In fact, I don't think I will be using most of these shapes, but they're useful. So let's just, for example, let's just go with this one. Now, just click, and you think it will be added. Doesn't, you need to drag. It's slightly inconsistent because the next time you want to actually use it, you have to click it. Slight inconsistency there, but let's just click. And now you've got it applied on the actual screen. It's in a few steps, but that's the way it works. And you can then resize it. Now you'll notice that up here you've got menu. You've got flip, reset, and you've got hide. Now reset, it just resets to it. Basic, to basic setup. But you can resize it. And also you can rotate it and so on. But also you can hide it, so click hide. At this point, you think, well, how do I get it back? We'll just click again and it returns. Not immediately obvious, but that, that's how it does it. Well, let's just go for watercolor and let's just apply. And what it does, it follows now, I'm just using obviously that, I don't want water, I want the actual brush stroke itself. So let's just apply it and you can change color. Let's just go different colors, Maybe go with green, pink, and so on. So you can build up a very complex design very quickly with this grid. Now, it's a pity they didn't come out with a few more grids. I really like a good... There are a few oddities in this. Sometimes when you apply it, it suddenly doesn't appear to have followed the line at all. It just stops. It just doesn't seem to do it. I don't know why, but I've noticed a number of times where I've tried and tried to draw, and it just completely doesn't do it. However... Now let's just go and add some water again, and you can see I can, now that follows it as well, which you may or may not want. Now, of course, you can always remove this. To remove it, you just go down here, remove pass. So I've just got that applied. Let's just go here and dry it. So it's dried, and you can see now you've got your cross or grid design. Personally, I would call it a grid design more than a cross. But you've got that. And now if you want to remove it, you can just go here and remove pass, so it goes. And that's it. And you can, of course, add other ones. So you, you can only have one at a time. So just click there, and you think it again. I'm going to do that all the time. You need to drag and put it into the pass. Then click. <laughs> again, slightly odd, but you can see then you can move it around. Then again, you can apply this one, Express Oils. Let's apply Express Oils and... Again, I've got that one active. Let's just apply that. And you can see like that, you can create a lovely quick arc design. And again, go here, layers, dry the layer. Well, how can you import other designs? Unfortunately, there is no feature for file and you've got import image and assets, but no import SVG. There's also no paste-in SVG. Be nice if there was, but there isn't. So if you say you've got Photoshop, Photoshop, unfortunately, is a great application, but you go here with Shapes, you go over here to Layers, and you can right-click and Export As. In previous versions, you could SVG export. You can't do that anymore which is annoying, but what you can do is copy SVG. So you go there, copy SVG. So it's copied into your pasteboard, clipboard. And then you think, oh, I can go now to Rebel. Unfortunately, Rebel has no paste SVG. Again, maybe something for version eight or nine. That would be really good because then you could quickly bring it in. But unfortunately, you need an intermediary app now you might have Illustrator, Inkscape, it's a free application, 
or in my case, I've got Affinity Designer. So Affinity Designer, you can see there, I've got that design there, but let's just go edit and paste. That's all you need to do. And you've got your vector design pasted in. Then you can go to file and now go to export. In export, you've got SVG. So you can export it as an SVG file. Now I've already done that earlier, so I'm not gonna do it again, but you can see just simply click export and then go again back to Rebel. And in here you've got pass. Now you can go here, import a new pass. It's fine, but it's only temporarily then. If you wanna save it to your library, which you probably do, which is useful, just go here instead. You've got import pass. So click import pass, select test.svg, click open. And now you can see you got it there. It does have a tendency to also position it in odd places. I've had it placed up here, sometimes placed here, in fact down the bottom. I think there's a logic to it, but however, it does import it. So now you've got your test there, again, select that, again, drag. So now you can see it's in there. And again, you can set that. Now you can have multiple entries in here. They're just only live. One is only live at any one time. You can have 10, 15 entries in here. It doesn't matter. But you can only select one at a time. And you can see the design. And you can again resize it. Do exact same as before. Go over here and watercolors. Let's just go for watercolors. Make certain I'm actually paint it and you can see then just apply it like that and again change the color and see what I mean it goes up that one I want it to go that one sometimes it just seems to ignore it I've tried it a number of times and I'm thinking oh and also sometimes it has problems with this one down here sometimes I just apply it and it's just I can keep painting it just doesn't it doesn't paint maybe it's just me but anyway and you can see and then you've got a lovely club design like that again click there and you can always then resize it again, just like that, maybe make it a bit smaller. And again, go to the watercolor and change color and apply again. And you can see, you can build up quite a complex design very quickly like that. Now this time it is actually, oh no. I say, sometimes it just seems to ignore when you apply a brush stroke. And then of course, you can just remove it or you can hide it. So. Again, click that and hide and it's gone. And that is a new pass feature in Rebel version 7. And I assume, and I haven't got it, the Pro version as well. If you've got any questions, please let me know in the comments below. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Also, any comments about Rebel 7? Are you going to be using that? Any things that you think would be great to see in Rebel 8 as well? Obviously, you've probably got a bit of time with Rebel 7. Rebel 8, what would you love to see? Would you love to see this new pass feature extended to where you can actually manipulate the pass as well? I personally would love to see a few vector design features as well as a paste SVG in the actual tools down here. That would be really brilliant. Bye.